Hey guys, so I uh, got a bunch of stuff I'm going to try to speed through today. Uh, added in shadows, which I'm going to talk about. And then I was working on a more advanced shadow, which I'll show you like a preview of, but I decided it, it's not a good idea. So I'll show you what it would have kind of been like, but I won't act, I'm not going to actually do the more advanced shadows. Um, and then I was working more on the sidebar, uh, the user interface on the sidebar. So I was going to talk about a bunch of game design um, I had to do in order to actually be able to make the sidebar. Um, so there's like game design related to that, and then there's also some other game design ideas I was going to mention. Um, and then I, I guess at the end, just for fun, I'm going to uh, maybe play a bit of guitar uh, because I was considering uh, doing the music on the guitar, um, trying to make it sound kind of retro sound, retro ish. There's like a certain way I might be able to do that. Uh, there's a pretty good chance I'll just hire a musician though, but just just for fun, there's a there's a pretty good chance I might end up doing it myself also. So I'll just give you a preview of that at the end. Um, so as far as the shadows go, um, it'll cast a shadow underneath any uh, any world entity, except for some of them like this slime. I don't do a shadow on the slime. So. The further you, you are away from the ground, the smaller it'll get. Um, and then it also it'll cast multiple shadows if I'm like, a, you know, if I'm halfway between two different bases like I am here, then I can cast multiple shadows. Um, so actually I'll just change the color of the shadows so you can see them better. Yeah, I'm going to try to speed through this like somewhat quick because I don't want the videos to be ridiculously long anymore. But yeah, I just want to like jump around so you can see the shadows. I think it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I, I was really excited because I was going to do some like more advanced shadow. Um, where for example, see how there's like a shadow underneath the, the dame and then also even more underneath the dame? Uh, maybe I can, yeah. So there's a shadow here, and then there's also a shadow here. What I was going to do was um, take this piece of the image, bring it down here, and then mask this shadow. So the advanced shadow would work where um, the, this bottom shadow would start to disappear based on this. Um, and then also, let's see if I can, hopefully I can do this quickly. Um, let's see here. But yeah, I'll show you the, the in, if I was going to do the advanced shadow, it would extend out further and then it would make a little bit more sense. Okay, so, so now, like, um, it doesn't really look like there's much difference, but basically the, uh, see how I'm, I'm just barely over the edge here? What, if I had advanced shadows, you'd see like a tiny bit of a shadow here, and then as you moved over, it would like reveal it more. So there'd be more of a sense of like the shadow light blocking by the tiles. So I was originally going to do that, but um, when you factor in moving platforms and slopes and other stuff, and then just the fact that the game's not really, I'm not. Uh, going quick enough uh, pr production wise I, I decided the advanced shadows I can definitely do it but it's it's too much work uh, it's gonna slow down slow things down too much because I, I would expect that um, there'd be too many new feet like as I added new features I would run into bugs with the advanced shadows so anyway so there won't be advanced shadows um, Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it with the shadows. Um, I wonder if there's anything else I could show. Yeah, I guess not. Okay, so anyway, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll just show the bars opening and closing too. See, you can, I changed the color back, but um, there's a very small shadow underneath the bars as well. And I don't know, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but if you if you overlap another shadow, it'll combine together. Um, oh yeah, and then also the rat uh, has a shadow. Um, even when it's climbing on a wall, you can see that the shadow casts down below the rat. Okay, so anyway. 
I think we, um, not doing the advanced shadows is fine because see how like it it's not really that noticeable anyway how um, the, the bottom shadow kind of just disappears suddenly with the advanced shadows it would get cut off and like it would look better but it, it's really not a big difference so whatever it's not worth like a major effort um, okay so I guess I'm done with the shadows now so now I'll talk about the sidebar so as you can see um, my mouse is hidden but um, on the on the left side there's a whole bunch of stuff now uh, some of it I had already game design wise I'd already figured out and other, other stuff I I kind of figured out but then I ended up doing like a major rewrite of how the game's gonna work uh, the heart system I'm really really excited about I think it's going to be a great system. So um, I'll just go through it quickly. Uh, there's three attributes. There's strength, magic, and charisma. I'm going to probably call them brute, witchcraft, and uh, allure, though. But for for simplicity's sake, I'll just say strength, magic, and ladra, and, and um, strength, magic, and charisma. So the, the um, here, I'll, I'll, I want to be able to show the mouse. So these numbers here are how much you have of each. Um, these are just little icons, like some lips, a witch hat, and a sword. So they, it just kind of does like a bar graph to show you which you have the most of. Then there will be a picture of the dame here. Um, and the, this is, as I mentioned, it's going to be a real person. with The, the hair is going to be fake, um, but the, the person is going to be real, and then as well as the actual game character. It's not just going to be a stick man. It's going to be a real person on the green screen. In fact, let me just show that. See, now I have I have green screens and stuff now. Uh, so just <laughs> so like, if you imagine there was like a woman wearing yes. a costume. Um, so your foot is. You, power right, you, have, to, you have to be in front of the camera. Like that, back, this way. Uh, yeah. I would be filming it so on also when you attack, I don't want to kick something, but I have to. Equipment. I have to, be able to use that attack while they're moving, so and, I can't um, be... Yeah, so it's going to be a real person. In fact, I think you can see here I have lights. I have everything I need. Well, I don't have a treadmill or a ladder or a trampoline yet, but I'm going to get everything I need. Um, but anyway, this this icon here is the is the like the avatar of the person, and as you lose health, their face will get beat up more. Um, also, I can change the color. Maybe I'll just do that quickly. I can change the color of the hair. So let me just see. Uh, I'll do blonde. Oop. Okay, but anyway, I, I gotta explain this, uh, this stuff here. The heart, okay, as I mentioned, the heart system um, is gonna be really cool. So yeah, anyway, now the hair is blonde. Um, so anyway, so you have the attributes in the top left. You have the avatar of the dame. Um, her her facial expression will change, and also as you lose health, she'll get like beat up, and her I'll put makeup on her to make her look all beat up. And she might like stick her tongue out or something if she's really hurt. Um, yeah, and then you have the uh, I, I'm doing all this weird stuff with the hiding the cursor, so sometimes it's okay. I guess I just won't use the cursor now. Um, but yeah, so now you have the level bar, and then I'll, it says which level you are, and then how much experience you have. Um, I'm just gonna let's do this the other, let's do this the smart way. I'll go like this. Okay. Uh, this isn't actually that smart, but anyway, okay. Um, so yeah, you have the level bar. It'll fill up as you get more experience. Then there's gonna be like a big heart container here. I think you'll have a total of 24 hearts that you can maximum get. This is like an earlier draft of it that uh, isn't how it's going to be. But anyway, th this is how the heart system works. Um, the red hearts are related to your strength, purple are you related to your magic, and then the blue are related to your charisma. Um, so the more strength you have, the more red hearts you have, etc. Um, so the red hearts are how many times you can get hit like get damaged without dying. So um, whenever you get hit, you'll lose a heart. 
Now the purple hearts are pretty interesting. That's where I think the good idea I had comes in. The purple hearts are how many times you can get hit when you have a power up without losing your power up. So um, in Super Mario, when you get like the fire flower, your costume changes. So that'll be similar to my game. When I get a power up, my cost the, the woman's costume is going to change. But um, when you get when you get a power up, your purple hearts are going to fill up. And then when you get hurt, you lose a purple heart and you get hurt again. So this would um, this would be like if I had a power up and I got hit once, I'd have one more heart left. So um, instead of being like Mario, where you, you once you get hit once, you lose your power up. In my game, you can get hit um, as many times as, as the purple hearts that you have, and then you'll lose your power up. So you, you lose all the blue hearts, or all the, all the red hearts to die, and you lose all the purple hearts to lose your power up. Then the blue hearts are for the mini game in the, in the speech. When you talk to NPCs, there's gonna be like mini games. Um, and the heart is when you lose a mini game in the speech. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to explain that part and I, I don't want to drag on too long. Okay, so now, so yeah, that's the three different types of hearts. When you level up, you can add an attribute to strength, magic, or charisma, and then that'll like increase your damage, increase your magic power and stuff, but it'll also add a heart. Um, and I, I really think the heart system's gonna be really good. So yeah, there's gonna be a heart container here. This is how much money you have. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, that's how much money you have. This is how many extra lives you have. Then there's also going to be how many rats you've killed. Um, so as I mentioned, there's going to be rats roaming around the whole uh, area, like whole level. And the more rats you kill, the, the is bad. And then when you get to a boss level, the more rats you've killed by the time you get there, the harder the boss is. So it's kind of like a karma system. Um, then there's going to be the keys, the amount of gold keys and the amount of uh, silver keys that you have. Um, gold keys are used for opening chests and silver keys are used for opening door locked doors. So yeah, there's going to be five different um, like counters here plus a heart container. Then um, it'll look kind of like this. There's also, you can get a weapon in the game. You can get a sword. So if you have the sword, it'll fill up like the bar like this. And then this number is how damaged your sword is. Um, and you can get a wood sword, a steel sword, or a gold sword. And then the, the bar will change color. Um, and then same with the shield. Uh, so there's gonna be power-ups and also weapons and shields. Then there's gonna be an inventory box where you have like potions and stuff. Uh, so you can like press I and then press the arrow keys and press space to use an item from the inventory. There'll probably also be a, a scroll bar. And then as you hover like an item, it'll tell you what it does. And then we already have the mini map, but there'll be some text above it that says like what level you're on. And then you can press M and uh, this mini map here will expand like really big and it'll, it'll show a, like a legend also. So you can expand and collapse the map uh, as well. So yeah, this is, so the, yeah, so the sidebar is not done yet. Um, but yeah, the, the heart system, I really put a lot of thought into and I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I guess one other game design thing I'll mention with the, is with regarding the slime. So I had some uh, pretty good ideas with the slime. I think it's pretty unique. Um, so as you can see, I think the slime, um, you'll be able to jump on it and bounce. So that's, that's not unique at all. But one cool thing is once the slime's dead, like this, if, if I'm walking along and there's a dead slime there, my, my character will all of a sudden slow down. So it's kind of like a, when there's a dead slime on the ground, um, it's like tar pit or something. So you slow down. But then also if I jump normally, I can jump as high as I want. But if I'm standing on a slime and I try to jump, the player will only jump a little bit and like some of the slime will like kind of grab you and pull you down. So even when the slime is dead, it'll still have some effect. And then if I walk over it or jump on it uh, like three or four times, then all of a sudden it'll like fade away kind of. 
it'll it'll dissolve and then it'll truly be dead. So the slime, like when it's alive, it's it's like an enemy, but when it's dead, it's like an obstacle. Um, and then, as I mentioned, there's going to be a bunch of different types of slimes uh, that'll have different abilities. Um, yeah, so that so since last time, it was mainly the shadow system, the sidebar, a bunch of game design ideas, and uh, yeah, that's that's basically it actually. I have a, like a lot um, I still need to do, uh, <laughs> obviously. Um, so yeah, so anyway. Um, so just for fun, I'll, I'll play a bit of guitar. Uh, there's, there's four songs I had in mind um, that I was going to learn uh, for this game. And if close to when the game's done, um, this, I, I have, I'll decide at that point if I'm actually gonna use these songs in the game or if I'll just hire a musician like a normal game. I think because the songs are medieval themed or like Renaissance themed um, or Celtic or whatever, that they'll fit pretty well. And then I'm playing them. I'm gonna get a better guitar than this. This is only like 40 bucks, but I'm gonna play them on a nylon string and I'll play them up here so that they're like twangy and they don't ring out as much. So like, as opposed to like, So I, I want it to sound um, like a little bit more video gamey and like simple, um, but yeah. So anyway, there's there's two songs that I learned. Uh, I guess I'll just play through them real quick. One of them I just learned and I can't really play it that well. And then another one I've been playing for a couple months. Um, these two songs I might use for the actual like it'll loop in the background of the actual level. Um, one of them will be when you're on a normal level. One of them will be when you're on like a boss level. Then there's going to be another song for the overworld and then another song for the menu. But anyway, uh, so this is, this is one of the songs I learned. Actually, I'm going to try to adjust this. Yeah, just, just for fun. I guess I might as well. It's kind of fun playing for people. So I'm not that great at guitar, but uh, I think if I have like two years to practice or however long it takes to make the game, I think by that point, It'll, it might be good enough to use in the game. So this is one song I was going to maybe do. And I'm definitely going to mess this up, but um, in the real thing, it'll, I'll take like 100 takes of it and take the best one, and then I might like put an audio filter on it, and then you know I'll have like a better guitar and stuff, and I'll have more practice. But anyway, so this is one of the songs. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Let me just see. Maybe, maybe you can't see. Um, OK, you can see. Yeah, just for fun, I'll play it. That one loops there. Um, yeah, I, I just learned that one. That's called Mist Covered Mountains of Home. It's a, like a Scottish, traditional Scottish song. I find it kind of fits the theme. Um, this other one I'm gonna play is called O'Carolan's Welcome. Um, it's like, a, these are all really old songs. Um, so this one is a, uh, an Irish theme that um, is like really old. But so this is O'Carolan's Welcome now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
anyway, so that one will loop there. Um, but yeah, normally I would try to play it like up here, like. So I think maybe if I play it up there, um, I have a better guitar, and maybe I put like an audio filter on it, and then I also just practice a lot, and then take the best take. I think maybe it might be good enough for the game, but I really haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so that's about it. Um, maybe I'll show you just a quick look at my to-do list. I, I throw up a bunch of random stuff in my to-do list that I want to work on soon. Um, it's a bunch of stuff on the sidebar I was going to work on. Oh yeah, this is a big thing I was going to work on next is when you kill an enemy, a bunch of coins are going to shoot out and a bunch of like hearts and stuff can possibly also shoot out and then you can gather them and then the coins like bounce around the world with, with actual physics. Yeah, I was probably going to do that next. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I won't drag on the video too long, but I got a lot of stuff uh, I was planning on doing. Um, like that other stuff I was talking about with the slime too, like when you when you touch the when, it, when the slime's dead and then you run over top of it, it should slow you down. And then when you jump on top of a dead slime, it should like pull you down and, and absorb your jump. And yeah, I, I also had to jump charging. So like normally if I just press the button quickly, it'll jump low. And then if I press it high, I'll jump high. And then if I'm, the more X speed I have, the, the higher I can also jump. So like if I'm going really fast, I can like clear this whole thing, but if I'm not going really fast, I can I'm like two tiles lower. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna be back in roughly a week or two and show you a new update. I'm gonna try to keep doing that. I'm gonna really try to pick up the pace on this one because this thing is taking way too long. Um, but yeah, anyway, so wish me luck. I'm gonna keep on trying to get a lot of a lot of work done. This. I did actually get a decent amount this time, but I should probably do better next time. Anyway, uh, okay, uh, I'll talk to you later.